Hi Aries, welcome to your mid-June 2018 tarot reading. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me today. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Um, in the description box below I have a link for how to get your very own um, personal reading. You just go to my website and I have a whole store there that you can buy readings where <clears throat> I post online. I also have a book now feature that you can um, book me for a live Skype call. So that's brand new. I just wanted to put that out there. So let's get started with your reading. I have the energy oracle here. And what is the central theme of Aries reading today? What is the central theme I have caring connections, but it came in the reverse. So there could be some issues with your relationship right now um, with caring connections going in the reverse. Something that was once very loving, very stable, is now unstable. Um, no longer there. Some of the passion has died out. Some of the romance has died out. Now I put two decks together. So there's a possibility that I could get the same card twice. I think it gives a better, like a more accurate reading because um, that puts extra weight on the card that comes out twice. Also, I, it gives me four different interpretations of one card because I do reversals as well. So we're going to do a general reading. And what is Aries' state of mind right now? What is Aries' state of mind right now? I need three cards for Aries' state of mind. Okay. Aries' state of mind. Okay, so currently in your state of mind, I have three cards here. We have the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles is all about fruition. It's success, free to enjoy a lavish lifestyle, um, results of hard work, elegance, grace, sophistication. There's maturity here. It, it can refer to pregnancy maintaining independence um this is the card of virgo and virgos are really hard workers they're very critical uh there's butterflies here that talks about metamorphosis and change and the coins here can represent money um your money came in really good it it's a very good financial card. Um, it can also be health. Your health has definitely improved. Things are going good really right now um, in terms of wealth and health. Um, so the, we're talking about your state of mind. So you're in a very good, abundant state of mind and your attitude has been changing. And then we have the Chariot Reverse. This is a major Arcana card. So this uh, represents a major life event. When the Chariot Reverses, it's, um, <clears throat> there's a lack of self-discipline here. There's a loss in direction. Uh, there could be some emotional outbursts. There's letting go. There's a possibility of car problems, so be wary of that. Um, overwhelmed with your relationship, being stuck in a rut. So I see like financially you're really good, but your relationship's stuck in a rut. And then we have the King of Wands, which is your energy. This is Aries energy. This is fire energy. Um, the King of Wands is others look to you for guidance you set a very good example the king has no regrets if he had his life to do over again he would do it the same 
Uh, life is boring without risks. He's in charge of his world. He rules his kingdom fearlessly. He never sits down and mopes. He's always active, ready to go the moment's notice. He appears to be forceful and pushy, but he just has really good intentions. He's a natural born leader. He's an entrepreneur. He's very powerful, dynamic, dependable. He's adventurous. He's a go-getter. He takes control of his life. And that's your state of mind right now. That's your current state of mind. What self-improvement or spiritual development can help Aries? What self-improvement or spiritual development can help Aries? Give me three cards, please. Self-improvement or spiritual development that can help Aries. First, I have the star, which is the card of Aquarius. Uh, the star is relief from struggle. There's a time to heal. There's nothing to hide. You're free to be yourself here. There's a sense of peace. There's a coming into your identity, taking center stage. This is me. This is who I am. There's... um creativity, there's a release from the past, confidence, helping others, it's the calm after the storm, after the tower, after the turmoil of the tower comes the star, and the star is a time to heal, just pouring emotions out. Lights being shed. Okay. Well, here we go. Here's the other two. Awesome. All right. Um, so how else you can heal and improve your spiritual development? Um, we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is the knight in shining armor. He's very gallant. He's psychic. He trusts his gut feelings. He trusts his intuition. He's a charmer. He makes moves. He gives gifts. Um, he uses his imagination. He likes to dress up. He likes to take care of his physical appearance. Um, he has a very good physical appearance. He develops his psychic abilities. This is the card of Scorpio. And Scorpios are all about I desire. They're very intense, passionate, sexual. They're the all or nothing type. Um, they're hypnotic. They research things. But they're also very mysterious and secretive. And then we have the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is about sadness, loss, regret, focused on the past, being cut off from life, being regretful. And this again is Scorpio. So we have Scorpio energy twice here. Scorpio is ruled by Mars. Aries is also ruled by Mars, which is the god of war. Um, so when we get Scorpio, I feel like it's talking about you, Aries. I feel like it's bringing your energy, but it's bringing your energy instead of that fire energy, that ambition, that quick temper, that spontaneity, that being impulsive, that being kind of like... Um, emotionally detached it's bringing in your emotions because um scorpio is a water sign and water is all about emotions and intuition 
Um, so you're both ruled by Mars. So I think that I feel like it is bringing out the Scorpio energy just to say, this is you, Aries, but this is your emotions. This is your intuition. This is your gut feeling. And that's what you need to improve yourself. That's what's going to help you in your spiritual development and health is to get in touch with your emotions, get in touch with your intuition. Um, be as mysterious as the sea itself, uh, being sensitive, being um, loyal and nurturing, um, being slow and steady, deep in thought, meditation. So what I'm seeing here is your state of mind is very abundant. You have a good state of mind. Your relationships may be stuck in a rut right now, but you're still in your power. You're still the king. You're still sitting there, a fearless leader, um, very flirtatious and in control of his actions. Um, he takes control of his life. He doesn't let things happen to him. He is the master of his destiny. And what's going to help you along your way is that period of respite, that inkling of hope, emotions, getting in touch with your emotional side, um, following your intuition and your gut feelings. And this is kind of like a Romney spread. It's, it's just a different take on a Romney spread. All right, so Aries family and home life. What is going on in Aries family and home life? I need three cards for Aries family and home life right now. Three cards for Aries family and home life right now. Oh, three exactly. That, well, that's awesome. They just popped right out. All right, so the first thing we have is the Three of Cups. Again, we're bringing in that emotion. Uh, the Three of Cups is Cancer energy. So we have Cancer energy twice. So there could be a Cancer person involved. Um, so Cancers are born between June the 21st or July the 22nd. Or it could just be talking about that time period because this is for uh, June the 15th through the 31st of 2018. So the Three of Cups in the upright is celebrations, friends, community, emotional growth. So again, we're bringing in that emotion, emotional growth. So that's what's going on in your family and home. There's celebrations, community, friend, friends, um, get-togethers, get and growing up emotionally. There is some verbal abuse. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So, the Knight of Swords, especially in the reverse, he is very blunt, he's direct, um, he's hypocritical, he's rigid, he's ruthless, he's cold, he's emotionally cold, um, he, he could be a single dad or an absent father. He's uh, mental health issues. He can represent a Gemini per individual or a Libra or Aquarius, but it's mostly that Gemini energy, that air energy. And who is Gemini? Gemini is, I think. Gemini is very adaptable, curious, has their finger in many pies. Um, keen, breezy, the winds of change, uh, unemotional, um, has a lot of nervous energy. And whenever I'm talking about this, because the King of Swords is in reverse, I'm talking about Gemini's negative traits. So everybody has good and bad traits in them. These are some of Gemini's more negative traits where they can be two-faced um, and swords is air energy so this is all about communication logic reason and 
when he's in reverse, he's very sharp tongued. Uh, his words hurt. They're very painful lessons to hear. He's very blunt, direct. He doesn't care who he hurts. And then we have Pisces. This is a major arcana card. This is the hanged man in the reverse. Um, so the hangman in the reverse is obsessed. He hangs on and he won't let go of the past. He has hidden motives and he's greedy. Um, and again, that's, that's the card of Pisces. So we have Gemini, Pisces, and Cancer here. Um, the Three of Cups, that's water energy, so it could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. The Hanged Man is the card of Pisces, and the King of Swords is the card of Gemini, but it can also be an Aquarius or a Libra. Um, but it's just bringing in that energy. That's the energy that it's bringing in. But we have so, so many cards of cancer so far. We could definitely be talking about, about a cancer individual here. Um, but that's what's going on in your, your home life right now. There's definitely some verbal abuse. Um, there, there's definitely some struggle here. Alright, so what is going on in Aries romantic and social life? Three cards for Aries romantic and social life, please. Okay, so the first one is you're very burdened. I have the Ten of Wands. This is a card of completions. Um, the Ten of Wands is all about burdens, commitments, responsibilities, an uphill climb, um, taking on too much, taking on other people's problems, being physically tired, um, taking on, carrying the full responsibility of relationships. This is the card of Sagittarius. This is I aim energy. Sagittarius is a fire sign like you. So this is fire energy. Now, it is conflicting. Your romantic and social life is conflicting with your family and home life because Pisces and Sagittarius do not get along. Uh, and they're side by side right here. Um, yeah, so, so there's definitely some very blunt speech. You're just speaking your mind or somebody else's and they're not caring about anybody else's feelings. Right, what else is going on in Aries romantic and social life from June 15th through the 31st of 2018? I need two more cards. Okay, here's two. Okay, we have Sagittarius again. We have Temperance. And this again is a major arcana card. This is a major life event. This is the calm after the storm. This is rebalancing yourself. Um, this is traveling, learning, teaching, being a wise counselor, or going to see a wise counselor, um, healer. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. This is uh, a mature relationship. This is forgiveness. Um, so we have Sagittarius energy right here twice in your romantic and social life. Again, Sagittarius is a fire sign, so they're very ambitious, they're very aggressive, they have this volcano temper that just um, explodes out of nowhere, but then they get over things really easily. Uh, they're ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of luck. They're a mutable sign, so they're very flexible and they go with the flow. They're kind of gullible, they're a practical joker, they're very arrogant. Um, sporty, they love sports, they love animals, they love the outdoors, they're independent, uh, they're very optimistic and outgoing, um, they're always searching for something, they love to travel, they're called the philosophers of the zodiac, so they're all about philosophy. And then we have the eight of cups, so now we have this water energy coming back, and this is Pisces again. Uh, and so there's conflict here because Pisces and Sagittarius don't get along. Sagittarius is not the most emotional sign. Pisces is. Pisces is very sensitive, very emotional. Pisces gets their feelings hurt a lot. So that's the energy that's coming. Somebody who gets their feelings hurt a lot. And Sagittarius doesn't care whose feelings that they hurt. They just say whatever's on their mind. They don't, they don't care. 
Um, so with the Eight of Cups, we have searching for inner happiness, leaving an emotionally unfulfilling relationship, walking away, abandoning, travel, taking a break. So there's a lot of emotions here. I'm getting, there. it's a very emotional time for Aries. And I see that you're very burdened by relationships. I can definitely say it was, it's either a Cancer or a Sagittarius or a Pisces or an Aquarius. We're talking about an Aquarius, a Pisces, or a Cancer person or a Sagittarius. And you're very burdened. In terms of your romantic and social life there's just a time to heal there's a calm after the storm there it looks like in the past there there may have been arguments uh, verbal abuse and it could have been over friendships it could have been over celebrations and now it's just a time period of abandoning that and walking into the future and starting a new journey. It's very emotional. There is a lot of emotions tied to this, but you're setting off in a new direction. We also have Scorpio. We have a lot of Scorpio here too. So what's going on with Aries money? Um, the, for, the 15th through the 31st of June, what's going on with Aries money? Okay, I have two cards. I need one more. All right, so then this is great because both of them came out and they're the money cards. They're that earth energy, which is all about money. So that's really cool that that, that came out. I asked about money. I got two money cards. So the first one is the king of pentacles in reverse. So that's not very good. Um, the, when the king of pentacles reverses, there's financial loss here. There's insecurity. It could be a collapse of a business or if you're currently unemployed. Um, there's poor judgment, overspending. Um, there was get-rich-quick schemes that just didn't work out. And this is more towards the past. And then I have the Empress reverse. So there's a lack of growth here currently, presently. So in the past, there, there was a loss. There was a financial loss. And now the Empress, which is a major life event, is there's a lack of growth. There's unproductive. There's a lack of stability, um, not developing. There, there could be some manipulation going on in terms of your finances. All right, I need one more card. Okay. <laughs> And again, we have another, it just like popped really. I just picked up the deck, it just popped right out. So uh, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So again, your money's not looking very good. And this again is a money card. This is Pentacles, which is so, like that's that's weird. <laughs> that, that's kind of freaky. That we got all money cards when I asked about money. So the Ten of Pentacles, if it's in the upright, oh my God, this is the most fantastic card that you could possibly get for money. But whenever it's in the reverse, it's not, um, unfortunately. When it's in the reverse, it, it's financial failure. Now, if you don't like the outcome of a tarot reading, you can change it. That's why you get a tarot reading. But I do see that there was over-investing and there's a rat here. So the rat is eating away at your money. Um, with, with people, uh, the King of Pentacles is Virgo, the Empress is Virgo, and the Ten of Pentacles is Virgo. So we have this real strong Virgo energy here. Um, so who is Virgo? Virgo is I am on. It's very, Virgo is very um, critical, picky, thrifty, uh, health conscious, modest, timid, um, intellectual, meticulous, fault finding, oversensitive, um, worrisome, reserved, a problem solver. That's who Virgo is. But unfortunately, the Ten of Pentacles is financial failure. 
So we need three cards to help Aries with his money. Um, so for work, career, and life purpose, what are what are three things that can help Aries with his money? Because he's a financially, you're bad. <laughs> that's that's really financially. That's that's really bad. Really, really bad. In the upright, if all of those were in the upright, oh my god, that would be amazing. The King of Pentacles has the Midas touch. So the King of Pentacles, anything he touches turns to gold. He is a strong, stable provider. He is the top of his field. He studied. He has gained so much awards, notoriety, and credentials that he can do just about anything. The Empress is all about beauty and fertility and growth and um, finances and the material plane and pregnancy and being impregnated and um, bringing things forth onto reality. So any ideas that you had with the Empress, you have the ability to bring them forth and to manifest them onto the physical plane. And then the Ten of Pentacles is the card of completion, which is all about um, long-term financial security, permanent success, extreme wealth, the best of everything, and luxury. But we got them all in the reverse, which is the complete opposite of what they are. So these cards are like the best cards you could possibly get for finances in a row, in a row. But all of them came in the reverse. Why did all of them come in the reverse? We have the Magician in the reverse. This is also the card of Virgo. So there's weakness. There's a lack of self-discipline here. There's lack of qualifications. You're unskilled. Uh, you don't have enough resources. And you're delusional. <laughs> the, there's a charlatan. There's a liar, a thief, a bully, a con man. A know-it-all, um, showing off, and communication problems, and there's a lack of confidence, and that's why this is happening. All right, um, Aries, work, purpose, and life, work, career, and life purpose. Work, career, and life. Is that three? I need three. Ooh. All right, there's four here, so I'm going to go ahead and take them. I'm going to go ahead and take them. So uh, the first one is the moon. So we have cancer again. So when the moon comes, we have secrets. Deep into to your subconscious, um, sorting things out for yourself sleeping on it not everything is as it seems there's trouble behind the scenes there's lies deceit plotting scheming mood swings so cancer is all about i feel they're very sensitive um psychic tied to the past, memories, nostalgia. They're the caretakers, the nurturers. But they can be very manipulative, snappy, insecure. We also have the full reversed. So the full reversed is in, so we have two major arcana cards side by side. We have the moon, which is number 18. And then we have the fool, which starts the journey. It's all about the fool's journey. So this is representing you, Aries. This is beginnings. This is a rebirth, a new phase, a fresh start. Um, freedom. But in the reverse, it's being impulsive. It's being reckless. There's poor timing here. There's being unprepared. Um, heading for a fall. Mistakes. Stupidity. Um, boring. Mundane. There's a lack of fun. Lack of hope. Sacrificing your dreams. And then we have the Queen of Swords. 
in the upright. So this is a, a boss. This can represent a boss. This is an ice queen, very unemotional. She's sharp tongued. She's honest. She's very truthful, but she doesn't. She's so truthful that she can actually hurt you. Like she doesn't care if the truth hurts. She's going to speak the truth no matter what. She is a problem solver. She's an organizer. She's a Libra. So uh, Libra is all about eye balance. They're diplomatic peaceful, romantic, um, they're balanced, they compromise, they're polite, so that's the energy that she brings. She comes up with a well thought out plan. Uh, whatever the truth is, the truth will come out. She takes feelings into consideration when making decisions. Keep a clear head. Be independent. She's sharp. She's slick. She's savvy. She's forthright. And direct. She's very good, ethical, and smart. But sometimes she sets unrealistic, high expectations. And then the moon came out again, so that's adding extra weight to the moon. So we have cancer energy here a lot. There's a lot of cancer energy here. A lot of cancer energy. Um, it's, whoa, a lot. A lot. Um, and it's in the upright again. So there's definitely some secrets here and your subconscious mind needs reprogramming because you're being, you're programmed to fail. Like you're thinking failure and it's happening. Whenever you think bad things, bad things happen. And that's what exactly what this is, the subconscious. Um, so I recommend doing some like affirmation videos on YouTube that, that will reprogram your subconscious mind for success. Um, to start thinking more positively. Um, pay attention to your dreams. They're going to help you to get out of this financial hole that you're in. Um, not everything's as it seems with this card. So you may see things as a certain way, but it may not actually be that way. So what is the final outcome for Aries? What is the final outcome for Aries? And just, this is just between the 15th and the 31st. So this can all improve. This can definitely all improve. So what is the three cards for the final outcome for Aries, please? Okay, so I have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So when the Page of Pentacles reverses, there's news of money, um, but there could be... It, it's unsuccessful. There's a lack of commitment. There's debt. Um, there's being, there's unhealthy money management. Bad habits. Money's being spent on bad habits. There's the six of pentacles here, which is another, it's still talking about money. Um, so there's charity, sharing, hiring, and firing. So some of you may actually either get a new job or get fired from a job. Um, getting back on your feet. So, that, so I do see you getting back on your feet. Payday. This is payday. This is Taurus energy. So the Page of Pentacles is just earth energy. It's just... Um, finances, materialism, material, it could be property, land, something immature because pages are all about things being immature. 
Um, the Six of Pentacles is payday, getting back on your feet. And that's Taurus energy, that's I have energy, that's patient energy. So being patient, steady, and things are going to grow, things are going to come back, and that's the outcome. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's going to get, your finances are getting better. Okay, yeah, your finances are definitely going to improve. Right now, it's just, right now, your finances are, are really shabby, but they're, they're improving, they're improving good. We have the king of wands, the entrepreneur, the natural born leader, the taking control of your life, that's in your energy area, and that's the outcome. We have payday. So something's immature, something's taking time to grow, it's immature, but it's there, it's there, it's immature, but it's there, and it grows, you get your payday, that's the outcome, you do get your payday, and it comes in, and it comes in big, with the king of wands, it comes in big, that is the card of entrepreneur. It takes time to start a business. Most businesses don't reap a profit for six months to a year. So you have to think of that. You have to think of that. So whatever this is that's causing a financial burden to you, um, it actually is just immature right now. It's just immature. And all of those cards are like insane insanely good financial cards, very strong, strong financial cards. If all of them were in the upright, you would be like a millionaire. And with the page of pentacles here, I see that's the potential. That's the potential. It's just immature and it needs to grow and it grows pages they grow into the king they have to go through the knighthood they have to go through being the queen and then they grow into the king and the king is financial abundance in multitudes and i see that is the outcome that is absolutely the outcome it's just a hard time right right now and that's causing issues in your relationship there's there's definitely some verbal abuse and your perspective is skewed and you you keep looking towards the past and it's very emotional and there's some definite blunt speech and feeling very burdened and weighed down um, it could be with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini individual. Um, yeah, I do see a little bit Libra. Uh, but yeah, it, it's definitely going to work in your favor in the outcome. So that's, that's exciting, Aries. That is exciting. Awesome. Okay, so any other, um, any other messages for Aries? Any other messages for Aries? Okay, so there's a woman holding your heart and adjacent possibilities. So the woman holding your heart, it could be a wife, a girlfriend, a daughter, a niece, any woman who you have in your heart, but it's in the reverse. So that's being heartbroken over a woman, um, somebody that you're really close to, uh, feeling like they turned you, their back on you. And there's different possibilities. You, you, the possibilities are endless. You're not confined to just one area. And there's doors opening up everywhere that you look. Um, so you don't have to be stuck to this one person. And then I have the sixth chakra, the archangel Metron. So you have some issues with your intuition. And that's what it was saying in what you need for your... Um, self-improvement is you need to be following your intuition and that's what it's saying right here and then you get victory and then you get victory using your intuition 
Well, Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading today. Um, in the description box, I have links to where I purchased the cards that I used today. So if you want to follow those and um, go see the cards that I used today. And also I have a link to my website. If you would um, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you're new here, um, I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings, and I'm just starting new meditation and affirmation videos. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. And if this resonated with you, please leave a comment. I love reading those. Have a wonderful day, Aries.